What's going on guys? Welcome back to the Legend of Zelda NES walkthrough. We are on the last Triforce Shard, the second to last dungeon, and then we're going to be ready to go to Death Mountain and defeat Ganon. So without wasting any time, let's go ahead and get to it. First we're going to go get a potion, so we're going to go up one, and left three. And if, like me, somewhere along the way you've lost your magical sword, refer back to the previous uh, episodes of the walkthrough on how to get the magical shield. I said magical sword, but I meant magical shield. And I'm going to go ahead and tackle the second to last dungeon without it. And then we're going to go to the cave here and purchase a blue potion. Right one with the upper path. Now we're going to go down one. And then right one. And then we're going to get our candle out and burn the bush. And there's the entrance to the lion. Alright, from here we're going to go left one defeat manhandler and I like to use a little thing that I call the door method I'm gonna hang out right here in the door so I can't be damaged let the fireballs come step out shot a sword same thing problem with it here is once you get to this part it's uh, near impossible to hit manhandler on that head with the sword shot so then you gotta go in for the kill take some damage along the way and then we're gonna go left one more here we're gonna have to defeat the enemies so I'm gonna use the door method again The cool thing about the blue bubbles, if you get hit by one when you step out, they're not going to do any damage. They're just going to render, render your sword useless for a few seconds.
left block, go down the stairs. We're gonna go get the magic book. We're gonna exit back out of here, go right to and up one. So we'll backtrack back to the starting room and then go up one and we will fight Manhandler again. Once again here using a, a variation of the door method. head up one and if you've been following along what you're going to want to do since you have enough keys to do so just head over here unlock this door and you're going to want to use the door method to take out these dark nuts you're going to grab the key and go left one and light the room up have some enemies here if you want to take out which I'm gonna go ahead and use a bow and arrow to get rid of these poles voices Room, we're going to use a door method again. And we're going to take out these dark nuts. it up and then we get out my bow and arrow that way I can clear the path of these poles voices keep in mind the poles voices do not have to be taken out this room the enemies do not have to be taken out but I'm going to do it to be safe Same thing in this room, the enemies don't have to be taken out, but we're going to do them to get out of the way.
on the north wall. Go up one. In this room, we do not have the escape routes that we had before, so we need to make quick work of Manhandla. Grab the map. And then we're going to want to get our bow out. And we're going to go up and be ready to face Goma. Remember, you can only use the bow. You hit her when her eyes are open. And I believe it takes three shots with the bow. And just be patient. Again, use the door method in here. Use the arrows on the poles, boys, if you wish. left block, enter here. We're going to go down here and get the magic key, or the boss key, or the you know, master key, whatever you want to call it. This will open every door in the game. Not just the dungeon, but the whole game. So you no longer have to worry about keys. So even if I say, you know, we're going into a certain room to do whatever, we're not going through a certain door that's locked, you can still unlock the locked door to use the door method in a room if you need to. We're going to go left one, and then down two. And then this was the room that had the dark nuts that I said we didn't have to beat yet, but we were going to. Now we have to beat them if you haven't already. We're going to go right one. And then the goal here is to go down the stairs, but we're going to have a lot of enemies, so be careful, work your way to the stairs. Through the passage here, up the stairs on the other side, and then here we're going to have some poles voices to take out just to get them out of the way. Like I said, these guys deal a lot of damage and they take a lot of to take out. We're going to bomb the north wall, don't even worry about the key. this point if you haven't used your potions yet I definitely recommend doing so because up ahead is the dungeon boss Gleok once again this time Gleok has four heads that's the only difference so we're gonna go up in here and we're gonna take on Gleok's heads and we're gonna grab the hard container shard. There you have it guys. The last Triforce shard. In the next part, Death Mountain and uh, Ganon. We're, we're finally going to go take on the big boss himself. Oh, Ganon. So, smash the like, share with your friends, and uh, stay tuned for the next part. And as always, I will see you guys on the flip side.